Hey everybody, I just finished filming this makeup look and I am really happy with it. I got really bored of using the cool tones for my eyeshadows and for my blushes, so I wanted to pull out some warmer tones and use some things I haven't used in a while, try out some new stuff, um, and just kind of revamp my makeup look. So if you like this look and you want to know how I did it, then just keep watching. I rearranged my office, so hopefully this lighting will work. I'm trying to get my first video up, and last week I did not love the lighting, so we're crossing our fingers that this one will be good. <laughs> so I've already washed my face and got my moisturizer on, but I am going to put on my sunscreen. I'm going to use the Dermalogica Solar Defense booster SPF 50 you can use this straight by itself or you can mix it with your moisturizer but it does dilute it a little bit so I like to put it on after my moisturizer has soaked in for a while so I get a little bit more um, of that sun protection because I am so scared of getting skin cancer I know way too many people that have gotten it and I am not about that life. So I try to be really careful and get lots of good sun coverage. Um, for my primer, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Self-Adjusting um, Complexion Primer. I haven't really used this one um, in a while, so I try to pull out some stuff I haven't used myself in a while and try to, um, you know, refine my love for it because I do like all this stuff. I just get in like weird habits where I don't use them anymore. <laughs> so, let's see if we can refine some love for some of these today. Yeah, I feel like this lighting is gonna be so much better. Hopefully it's not washing me out, but I feel like this will be way better, but we will see. So I'm gonna use my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I have not used this in forever. I'm nervous it's gonna be a little dark, so we will see. I haven't used it, like I said, in a while. Uh, I'm nervous, but I wanna use it. I need some full coverage in my life, and I love this foundation. And I'm tired of seeing my skin issues being so prominent. So we need to cover it up. <laughs> and this is my favorite. I've just been too lazy to go to Ulta to get a lighter color. Totally my own problem. But I'm hoping I've been spending a little bit more time outside. I'm hoping that this will work. And my other one I have is even darker. So this is my lightest one. But this is like my favorite go-to foundation, especially like when I'm at work all day long. But for the fact of maybe not matching because this foundation is so bad about, um, you know, once you put it on, it might look great, but it darkens up like a shade or two as it dries down, which is not fun. So it might look great now, but here in a little bit, it'll probably get darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my neck just for, you know, the sake of making sure it's consistent all the way down until I get a little bit tanner or get some um, fake tan on. I need to fake tan, like, so bad. I'm gonna use a different concealer. So I've not used this. I found this and wanted to try it. Fill and Blur by Revlon Youth FX. Um, I got it in the color Fair. I have never used this, nor have I ever used a product like this. There's a little pushy button. How do you know? Okay. I feel like when this actually comes out, it's going to like explode. I've pushed this button so many times. Okay. We might not be using this product today. There we go. Oh, okay. So it does say that you can put it um, under eye and anywhere where you need some coverage. Oh wow. Um, and then it fills in lines, wrinkles, and pores. And like I said, it's from Revlon. I've never used it before. So we will see. Wow. Okay. So it doesn't want to show up. And then when it does, it's like a crap ton. Okay. 
So this was in the shade Fair. And I'm okay with going in with this very light shade because I wanna use it kind of to highlight, conceal, and just in case this foundation, I feel like this foundation is gonna be good. Like I feel like it's really consistent. So that's in shade 3.5. So yay, I might be in this foundation again. When it was the middle of winter, it was so not my shade. I tried it and like someone even asked, they were like, oh, did you get a new foundation? I was like, no, <laughs> but it's not my color, so I'm not wearing it again. But now that it's starting to get warmer and I've been spending more time outside, I'm, I think it's my color again. Yay. I love it. Have you tried it? If you haven't, you so should, especially if you like full coverage foundations that last all day long. And I'm just using my Real Technique um, sponge for all of this. I've been trying to wear, um, well, I have been wearing a little bit cheaper of foundation and it kind of breaks up around my nose quite a bit because I'm more oily there. Um, so I'm hoping that this will do better using a mattifying full coverage and higher end. So that concealer did really well. I'm quite pleased with that. Yep, that looks good. So we're not gonna use my other one I brought in just in case. Um, I wanna try this. I've never tried it and I got it in a sample. It's the Benefit High Beam Highlighter. I've never used it, but I need, I like have to set all of my makeup even when I use mattifying stuff because I get so oily. So I'm gonna put this on under my um, powder and let's see if it even shows up after I put my powder on. I doubt it will, but we'll see. I wanna try it. And I'm just gonna use a smaller sponge to just tap this in. And it might work, like maybe I'll try it on top of my powder too and see if it shows up without like, um, I have um, a, what brand is it? Stila, a Stila highlighter that's kind of like a liquidy, it's not like heavenly, whatever, it's really like jelly filling. I cannot put it on top of my um, powders because it gets like splotchy and then it looks really weird and gross and I don't like it. So I've been hesitant um, to put any um, like highlighter or any type of wet products on top of my powder since then. Um, so that just gave me like a really nice glow. There's not like, it's not blinding, it's not glittery, it's just kind of a nice glow on my cheekbones. So we'll just see what happens when we keep going with the powder. Um, I am gonna set under my eyes with the Wet n Wild Banana Powder in the Photo Focus line. I just got this not too long ago and I've been really pleased with it. And I like the way it's um, wearing throughout the day, like through work and everything. I'm a hairdresser and so I'm blow drying all day long and it gets really hot. And so I need something that lasts quite a while. That's why I love the all nighter. And I've really been pleased with this powder. So what I've been doing is using it under my eyes around my nose. And then on my chin area, because in my like little dimple area, my makeup likes to crease pretty bad. And just to get a little bit more of um, like a blurring on my acne line where I have some scarring, I do like to put this on there because it's got a little bit more of that yellow tone to try to cancel out some of the purple. And then I'm gonna try a new foundation, uh, or not a foundation, I'm sorry, a new setting powder that I've never used before. Um, I found it on clearance. I'm all about clearance and trying out new stuff. I've been on this mission to find really good drugstore products. And um, this is from the Flower brand Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. And it looks like it's my color. I swatched it on my arm and it looked pretty good. So we will see. And I'm just gonna use a Kabuki brush. And yes, 
my brushes are dirty. I'm actually going to clean them today, but I wanted to do a video first. So as soon as I'm done with the video, I'm gonna clean my brushes. I get super lazy about cleaning my brushes. It's like my least favorite thing to do. Yep, that matched really well. Now that we're a solid one color all over the face. So the highlighter, you can still kind of see that high beam under the powder. Um, not like super bright, but I can still see it. Um, so we'll just keep going and see if we need to build it up and then, or if I want to use just a regular highlighter on top. Let's go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna use the, uh, what is this? Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and the shade Bronzer. I've been really enjoying this as well. So this has been one of those things that I went and found a bunch of drugstore stuff to buy. And this has been one of my like favorites that I got. I've been pretty lucky actually, like all the drugstore stuff that I've bought, I've actually been really happy with. The worst part of it is finding a color that matches me. That has been the worst, like with foundation. But the foundations that I've tried have been amazing, as long as I can get the right color. I did get with like the Maybelline one. It was the perfect color the first time. The Wet n Wild, I grabbed two different colors just to be on the safe side and one of them was too dark So I'm like that's okay. I can use it in the summer and the other one was perfect and I've been wearing it so much It's so pretty So now we're not quite all one color. We've got a nice glow going on Let's go in with the wet n wild contouring um, palette so it looks like this and this is in the shade I don't know. Dolce de Leche. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. This is actually a really good um, contouring shade. I've been really pleased with it. And it's really easy to build up. I really like it. And I'm just using the edging of this Real Techniques brush. So yeah, trying to find some good drugstore brands. I've been really pleased. It was my mission because for the longest time, I would, you like could not get me to do it. I had some really bad experiences with some and I got really upset and swore off drugstore makeup and only was buying high end for like a couple of years now. But now I'm over it and I want to find some good stuff that I don't have to spend so much money on and um, be able to enjoy, you know, having some cheaper but nice makeup. And I've been pretty happy. Yeah, this is so pretty. I love this palette. I went back and forth with it for a couple weeks like if I should get it or not like multiple times I picked it up and set it back down because like no I don't need it and then I finally just got it and I'm glad I did um my Too Faced banana brightening powder I'm gonna go in with that I love using this under my eye after I have um bronzed and contoured just to kind of brighten it back up and then down my nose just to bring out anything that might have gotten bronze that I don't want to chin and then I really love coming in right under that contour. I kind of think of this as like my um, eraser, if you will. Um, gosh, I still haven't really decided what I want to do with my makeup, but I brought in a lot of warmer colors. I haven't worn any warmer colors here lately. I've been doing a lot of cool colors. 
And I always get so many compliments when I use warmer colors. So I brought in a warmer eyeshadow palette and I went ahead and brought in my California. Um, what is this? Benefit. Yeah, Benefit California br uh, blush. This is beautiful. It smells amazing and I really like it. And I feel like every time I wear it, I always think, why don't I wear this more? So we're going to go with some warmer peaches, some warm tones. I brought in my Naked Heat palette. I haven't really been wearing warm colors. And I loved that palette. I was obsessed with it. And that's like all I wore for the longest time. And then I just stopped wearing it for some reason. and went back to cool colors. But I'm ready to get some warmth back in my life. Especially since it's been so cold here lately. All right. Let's get these brows done. Because they are looking crazy. Bring my mirror in and I'm going to use Benefits Cabral in the shade 3 and just use my angled brow brush. I'm going to brush these out first real quick. What I like to do is go in and fill in the bottom um, and that's where predominantly most of my bald spots are is along that bottom line. I love, 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 love. This is my like go-to brow product. It's so easy. The first couple of times I used it, it was a little bit hard to get used to because I was just used to um, pencils. But now I like never reach for pencils anymore. I love the way this looks. And I feel like, I don't know, it looks more natural to me. And so since I do have quite a bit of bald spots, it is a little hard in some places to really fill them in. So I'm going in with the Precisely My Brow. My benefit is like super, super thin. Um, so I'm gonna go in with that on my bald spots and to kind of edge out a little bit more. Is edge out even a term? Who knows? And then kind of gives it a little bit more depth as well because the pomade is a really soft um, look where this I can get a little bit firmer of a um, line so it gives us some more dimension. And this one is in shade four so it is a little bit of a um, darker shade. So I like the way that it looks. I feel like it looks more natural. And then I do like to finish off the tail with the Precisely My Brow because you can get a really, really, really fine point with it. And then my booger eyebrow. This eyebrow is the hardest eyebrow to do. I have like a scar right here and there's hardly any hair there. It's just the biggest booger. And they're not even and it makes it even harder to try to get them even because of all the issues with this one. But we do our best. I've gotten to the point now, like, I used to make them as even as possible, but then I ended up with, like, huge eyebrows. It's like doing a winged eyeliner. You get one messed up, and then you try to fix the other one, and then you end up with, like, a huge black line, and it's not pretty. That's how it used to be for me with my eyebrows, till I just finally was like, they're not even. They're naturally not even, so just make them look natural and, like, filled in and just embrace that they're not the same and it has made my life so much easier. And I don't look like I have eyebrows for days. I just have good filled in eyebrows. <laughs> I like go back on pictures and I'm like, I wore that in public. <laughs> and well, you know, you look back at old pictures and you think, what the heck? was I thinking. The brows was one of those. 
or for me. So what was it, that 10 year challenge that was super popular? I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I know what I looked like. I caved and did it and oh my God, the worst. That was actually the year that my eyebrow got shaved off. And I didn't really know how to do makeup, let alone, I was a tomboy, okay? I didn't care about makeup. I didn't care about that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I just had like zero eyebrow over here on this side. And I think that's part of the problem as to why this one's so jacked. Um, and this other one's got like a super huge arch. Like we've got some weird things going on. So yeah, so I went into a brow place and I was like, please like make them even for brow waxing. And that was before I was educated about um, not getting my nails or my eyebrows done in a nail salon. I walked out with, like, this one was already gone because it got shaved off. And then I walked out with this one, like, gone too. And then I had my senior photos that year with my brows like that. It was a sad year for my eyebrows. So, that 10-year challenge was a sad day. Okay. So we're done talking about the poor little brows. This is how I normally wear them. This is how I like them. So precisely my brow and the cabral. And I always bring in like my brow contour pro in case I need it. So I've got a dark shade, a light shade, a definer, like a concealer, and then a highlight. But this looks good. I don't have to fix anything. So I don't need to use this one. I'm just gonna take a small concealer brush and just kind of fix up around, just making sure it's nice and smooth. Just because when I go in with that um, brow brush to brush them out, sometimes it will kind of scratch my foundation a little bit. Okay. So I'm really liking the way everything is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeshadow. So like I said, I brought in my Naked Heat palette to get some nice warm tones. This is an amazing palette. And if you have blue eyes, it makes them pop. It is amazing. Every time I wear this palette, people always say, oh, your eyes are so blue, or those contacts. I'm like, no, but it just, it looks good. I like it. So if you have blue eyes, go get the Naked Heat palette. And they have the Naked Petite. I haven't used that one because I, just use my regular, um, but you could always go get that one. And the shades are pretty too. And you just don't get as many, I don't think. Um, I'm gonna go in all over the lid with the shade Chaser, which is the second one here. And just do that all over. And now I'm not using an eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. I really kind of don't like using them. I don't feel like it really does too much for me. Unless I'm going for like a super, super bright eyeshadow look, then I like it. But I'm just doing nice warm tones. I'm not going like super bright or anything. Um, for, so I brought in a couple of different things for this, but for the lid, I wanna go in with I think it's called Lumbre, Lumbre. It's this first shimmery, kind of um, peachy, ready orange color. And I'm just using a flat brush for that. Actually. I need to get the Naked Reloaded palette. Oh my gosh. I need to go into Ulta really bad. I just, I keep putting it off because I know when I go in there, it's gonna be 
way more than what I go in for because I always do that. It's like Target. You go in for one thing, you walk out with like 20. So I've been avoiding Ulta like the plague because I know what it's gonna end up doing. But I really should just go and get all the things I've been looking at and wanting. Um, let's go in with um, Low Blow, which is this fourth one in the palette for the crease. Using an even bigger fluffy brush and then just tapping the outer corner and then lightly bringing it in. little tip and trick always tap on the outside first before just start swiping because if you just go in and start swiping you're gonna throw way more eyeshadow than if you tap first and plus the outer edge is where you want most of that pigment if you're going for like a smoky look so to tap on the outside is the best anyway And then because I like that shade under my eye, I'm gonna go in on the opposite. So this is just an Urban Decay um, eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with the pencil side and take that low blow and bring it around under my, um, under my waterline. And then I'm slowly blurring it out and bringing it further down. So I have super hooded eye um, lids so I don't like to put anything right on my waterline because it just makes my eye look even smaller and I don't like that so I put it right underneath and that helps kind of make my eyes look um, wider all right and then let's go in with um, let's go in with he devil and a little mixture of cayenne so He Devil is your red. Cayenne's got a little bit more of that brown to it. And I'm gonna just mix those with an even smaller um, brush. Shake off excess. And we're just going to put that right in the crease just to give it some more depth. And then a little bit on that outer V. And again, tapping in. I'm going to go back with that wider blender brush. Take that low blow again. Tap that outside. Bring it up a little bit. So I always like to slowly bring it up versus going in first with that low blow and bringing it up higher. I like to do a little bit, come in with my straight crease color, then coming back in with my more transition shade and bringing it up higher then, and it blends all in one. So this is like the way I like to do it, it makes it faster and easier. And then just taking, I never put color on this blending brush, I just use it to soften out everything. And then I'm wiping that off. Same thing on this side.
And then I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with Ashes, which is this dark, like, purpley red. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to just take it on that brush and put it right under that waterline on the outer edge just to deepen it up a little bit. So just taking that Ashes, I brought it up a little bit on that top of my lid, taking the brush in and just raking it this way. And then when I feel like that softened a little bit, taking it and flipping that brush this way and taking it in a little bit more in that crease. Taking the blender brush and just softening. And then we're gonna take a small dense brush and we're gonna go in with ounces, which is the first more of like a cream. It's got a little bit of a glittery shimmer to it and using that on the brow, under brow, I should say. And also in the inner corner And I wipe my brush off and then I'm just going to come in and slightly bring it onto lid and the lower lash line. All right. So I'm going to go off camera and do my lashes. All right. So I got my lashes on. I have not worn lashes in probably a year and a half, like really long time. But I went in with the Kiss brand and it's Ritzy Natural Black and they're 100% natural hair um, and it's for volume. So I did not get any mascara on yet so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blend mine in with these. I love how fluffy they are. That's what attracted me to them. And I am using my Urban Decay, what is this, Perversion Mascara. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lashes. I am just about out of this mascara. I love it. And I figured this mascara would look best with these lashes because it just kind of gives you that nice fluffy um, look. So I really like that and I think it matches really well with the lashes. Okay, so our highlighter, I feel like there's still a nice shimmer. The blush has a little bit of shimmer to it, but I am going to just go ahead and go in with my Anastasia um, Aurora Glow Kit. And I'm going to use this one here, which is Eclipse. So that one's got a nice um, orangey tone to it, so it'll be nice and warm um, while giving me a nice glow. And I really like... Um, these highlighters. This whole palette is really nice. It's just a little bit more pigmented. Um, so depending on the look I'm going with, I might not reach for it. Um, especially like the green and the blue and the purple, like they're really pretty. Um, they're just not my like everyday go-to, but since I wanted to have like a nice, like more fun, warmer kind of, um, more out there look for today, I thought it would be a really cute, um, highlighter palette to go with. I do want to do, so St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I do want to do, um, a little bit more of like a green look. So I'll probably pull this highlighter out, um, and use the Helia, which is the green. I think that would be really pretty with a really pretty green look, um, just to kind of bring it all together. And I really love these highlighters. They work really well. Like I said, it's just that sometimes the um, pigments don't really go for an everyday look. So they're more of kind of like for fun. Um, for my lips, 
I think I'm going to use, I brought in two different ones that I was thinking about using, Epigram and Nonsense, both by Urban Decay. I think I'm going to go with this darker one. I think that would look better. So that one's Nonsense. It's a comfort matte. And it'll bring in more of like the reddish, um, the darker red that we went in with in the um, eyeshadow look. And more of like reds than oranges. So I wanted to kind of bring in that darker um, shade that we had on the outer V on the eye look. And then with my pinky finger, I'm gonna go in with that Eclipse and just put that on the top of my Cupid's bow. Just to give it a little bit of a highlight. And then one last touch that I typically like to do at the very end is take my blush one more time and just top it off on top of everything. Just to give it, I'm a blush girl. I like to get a little bit more pigment in there. Yes, bye y'all. Okay, and then to set it, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose. It's a three-in-one primer water, so you can prep set and refresh with these. And it smells amazing. And it's a light mist. And just fan it dry. All right, guys, I hope you liked this look. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you can try some of these stuff um, or the things out that we've done. Maybe you can try this nice eyeshadow look um, or get some ideas for some products that maybe you haven't tried or that you wanna try or maybe inspire you to pull out some things you haven't done in a while or used in a while. Um, this is making me want to wear lashes again. I used to wear them so much um, and then just, Stopped. I think it's when I wear my glasses I can't wear them and so I just kind of stopped doing it but I really like them. I think it's going to be a go-to again. All right guys I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment um, and hit that notification bell so you'll know whenever my next video goes up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.